everyone, it's Goddess Lily. Well, I'm all done with her. So I want to show you how she came out. The only thing I'm not pleased with is I think I need a little more hair at the bottom. Like you can see through it, it's pretty thin. I think I need maybe one or two more layers or either I have to cut it. But this is actually 14 and 16 inch. So when I wash it and roller set it, you know, it's going to actually be shorter than this because this is 16 and 18 inches. So you can kind of see how long it is. So I don't want to cut this. I kind of want to put um, maybe another layer, but I want to show you how the front came out and I kind of want to put it on my arm so you can see it this way. So this is my defined part. And as you know, this is made on the, and I have the cap in front of me, the caps that I sell, the um, lace, the U-part wig cloak, I don't know what do you want to call them, I just call them U-part wig caps. So this is the size of the opening, it's like a 2.5 by 4, so you know, it's, it's, you know, a nice little bit of work. So you can kind of see the part through there. All machine sewn. And let me show you the back. I cut those strings off. I don't like the strings. I cut the strings off. And I sew my, I just sew machine sew elastic. Yeah, so you can kind of see. That's elastic, it's just a zigzag stitch. So I don't like those straps that you have to fasten because they never stay fastened and then they stretch all out of shape. So the cap actually has like that little flap that goes down. So I just cut it, the flap off all even and then um, I machine sew. And I still have room for like one more track at the bottom. So that's why I said I need some more hair. So um, I'm going to try this on for you so you can see how it looks. And um, it's to go behind the hairline. I leave my hairline out. So it's not like real baby fine or anything. Although it's, it's baby fine around the parts. As you know, I, I do single stitches around the part. And that's so the part could look really nice and natural. But across the front, it's, I don't know if you can see it. It's not that tiny. So I have some hair that came in for a client. She ordered the hair and just had the hair shipped to me. She's having a U-part wig made, so she has uh, 18, 16, and 14. And this is Indian Remy. I believe the company is called Royal Remy Company. I'm not sure, but you know, when I after I make the wig and I make the video, I'll have the card because the they sent you know flyer and cards. Everything is in the package. So I just kind of want to show you the hair. It's, it's very pretty and. Um, so this is for a U-part wig and all my U-part wigs will have ventilation around that U and down the side. So that's included in the cost. So it's a really good price that I'm giving you for my U-part wigs. And with the ventilation, it'll lay super, super flat. And with the ventilation around the sides to cover the track, you'll be able to wear it back in a high ponytail. And um, so I'm excited to make that for her and make the video because this will be the first um, U-part wig video on my new caps. The first U-part wig that I'm making on my new caps. Although this is made on my new caps, this is a lace, uh, you know, a lace closure. It's considered as a lace closure wig, actually. Okay, let me try it on and I'll be right back. Okay, here she is. 
<clears throat> so the hair is 16, 18, sorry, 14, 16 inches. And it's a uh, Indian, Virgin Indian. So the cap has this, you know, thing that comes around the ear like that. So my comb actually will probably have to go a little bit back here so it can, because you can see my stocking cap. So the comb will have to go. I'll just sew it up there so it can stick in and just kind of lay that down. But you know, the caps can be modified. You can cut this whole little flat thing off because it comes down like that. If you were to cut it off, it would go more around. But I wanted to just make it on the cap without modifying the cap. The only thing, you know, basically I cut was the back. Let me show you the back. I cut the little flap off the back. So, um, so my back and there's elastic. So I don't have any combs in it. What I did was um, I used some tape to glue it down in the front. So you can kind of just see the part. There it is. Now keep in mind the ventilating is only small ventilating right around the part and just right across the front. Up in here is basically, I started with my thickest needle in the back to cover the tracks of the U, which was like four to five. <clears throat> then I went to three to four, then I went to two to three, and then one to two, and um, then I finished around the part with one. So it's not thin ventilating up here because I wear my wig roller set. So I like a lot of hair. So basically the price that um, I offer for these, this type of ventilating is on the website. It's a really good price. This is a full lace closure wig. And I also state if you want very fine ventilating and free parting, it's a whole nother price. Because what I offer on the website is for this lace closure wig made on these new U wig caps is a very reasonable price for the ventilating and all the machine sewing and all the extra little work that I put into it. It's a really good rate and anything extra like you want fine tiny ventilating, you know, you're going to have to go up a digit from what's quoted there that first number go up a digit so um this is my wig that i just took off she's very pretty and you know i roller set my wigs that's how i get these pretty curls but then i roll it on those i roll them up on those long little spongy things that you roll it and you twist and fold over and it keeps the curls really really pretty and that's the front of her. This is the inside. If you're going to use these wire combs, basically, or any type of comb, you need to sew some type of foundation in there because you cannot sew these wire combs straight onto the lace because it will definitely tear the lace. But if you have tracks that come all the way to the edge, then you can, you know, sew them on and it will lay down flat and of course in the back I cut those straps off and sewed my own little elastic around the bottom because I cannot stand those straps but anyway um that's it for this wig next time you see it um, it'll I have to trim the returns up here because I want it just a little a uh, little flatter a little more flatter and once I go in and trim the returns which I always do on all my work so it can lay a little flatter and then I'm gonna layer it so you know it's so long so I can roller set it because I, I love my wigs like this I love the full curls 
I, I just don't look good with this look. <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you think about, you know, the defined part. And I hope I got up close enough so you can s s really see what it looks like. Okay, thank you for watching.